is it? What's the one? Uh, read 30 minutes before I go to bed. Okay. It's my New Year's resolution. What do you like to read? You mentioned your... Um, right now I'm reading Chris Hamm's book. Uh, I've heard him talk before and so far the first couple of chapels are really good. Coach Mike let me lend it, so... So that's what I'm currently reading. Then after that I gotta read The uh, Alchemist. What is that book about? The first one that you said. Uh, Chris Hannon. Uh, it's like it's called the Food Junkie. Oh, uh, the the Junkie, and it's like how he, um, his life, and he was uh, addicted to drugs, and how he played, and how he made it all the way to the Boston Celtics, and then while being addicted to drugs on the side, and no one knew, and it was like a mask that a mask that he wore, uh, and it was like inner battles and inner demons that he had to fight. So that one's about an athlete, but then you mentioned you said the alchemist after mm -hmm. that. So you just kind of read all kinds. That's a really good book, by the way. You just read all kinds of stuff. I guess. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, I could take uh, one or two things from every book, so I got to do that. And then uh, Stephen has mentioned a book that I might have to dabble in. Interesting. So on the basketball court, do you have any New Year's resolution? Uh, win as many games as possible. <laughs> uh, about to enter Big 12 play, and uh, it's probably the most competitive league in the country from top to bottom. Uh, Every uh, game's uh, determined by two possessions, so uh, just trying to uh, win as many ball games as possible is my New Year's resolution on the basketball court. What's it like for you as one of the only guys on this team who actually has a lot of experience playing against Big 12 teams? Uh, I mean, I guess, I mean, our non-conference was, was really tough, uh, like top 10 in the country, but that doesn't really compare to our the Big 12, because Big 12 is a, it's a different animal, but um, I guess uh, it just gives me an experience to talk to the guys and tell them that every single night there's going to be a, a pro on the court uh, to bring your A game and to be dialed in and be focused. What do you remember about going into your first Big 12 game as a freshman? Ooh, we played West Virginia, I think. Uh, so Javon Carter and all them. Uh, I was like, ooh, <laughs> this league is uh, different. So <laughs> we know how good those West Virginia teams defensively were. So uh, I just remember going in after that game, I was like, Got to prepare. Got to prepare. You mentioned the non-conference schedule. Do you feel like that really did prepare you guys and, and your young guys especially for what they're about to see? Absolutely. I mean, you can only prepare so much for the Big 12. Uh, but with that being said, I think it has prepared us to, to see the type of talent that we may encounter. Uh, I mean, we played some pretty top-tier teams. Um, so I think, it, I think it'll give them a uh, sort of a light to, to what is to come. Um, I mean, we didn't play to too many pushover teams, and nobody in the Big 12 is a pushover team. Uh, every team's capable of winning on any given night with anybody. How tough does that make it that there are no, you know, you can't circle a game and be like, okay, that's a bit of a breather, that every game is going to be a challenge? Uh, it's exciting. Um, I mean, we don't come to Oklahoma State uh, to not play against these teams. Uh, that's why uh, the coaches are in the locker room. That's why they came here, and that's why the, the players came here, and that's why recruits commit here. Uh, you want to come to Oklahoma State to play in those type of games. So we're amped and we're ready to go. Looking at Iowa State, what kind of challenges do they present here? Do they remind you of any team that you've already faced this season? Uh, they don't quite remind me. They're, they're very dynamic. Um, they're a very deep team. They're very skilled. They space the floor really well. Um, they're very unselfish with one another. With one another, And I mean, they're a really tough ball club. Uh, they're skilled one through five. Uh, and they're just, we're going to have to play really well to beat them. How much easier does it make your job having Curtis back, having Michael Weathers on the floor? How did those two being on the court change your dynamic? Uh, it just uh, opened the floor up for me. Uh, I mean, teams that know them, they're on the scout. Uh, they can't really shade as much to me because then those guys will be open. I mean, Kurt had a game where he hit five threes. So I mean, he's just as uh, of a threat uh, when I'm on there and when he's on there. So it's kind of like pick your poison. What is the energy level like among these new players, the freshmen and the guys who are going into their first big ball game? They're ready. Uh, I mean, they're hungry. Um, I know they picked us 10th going into this, so they're, they're well aware of that, and they're, they're ready to uh, prove people wrong. Is that something you guys are still holding on to a bit, keeping that just in the back of your mind that you guys were picked to finish 10th in this league? Uh, I don't know if it's in the back of our mind, but it is something that uh, it is said. Uh, so, I mean, we're not really worried about it.